permission to speak freely, sir. Please do. Ever since Wynn came on board, he's been tight beaming back and forth between the UN and IO. And everything's off buffer, against regs, with no record of the conversations. You've been monitoring his comms? Yep. And now he's diverted a capital ship from a major engagement to go to a deserted moon, keeping you in the dark and relieving you of command for no fucking reason. Something is off. We've been talking, quietly, to some of the other ships. The commanders you trained, they're loyal to you. If you were to make a move... A move. You know what we mean, sir. Yeah. And that's what worries me. Admiral. Oh, Boyer, um, I've been meaning to tell you, your boss is kind of a prick. When he has to be. He doesn't like people questioning his judgment. There's a reason he's fleet commander. Yeah, because Souther stepped down. I'm sure it wasn't more like stepped on? Well, Wynn certainly has the right qualifications. The ability to kiss Aaron Wright's ass. Did you know that Admiral Wynn was in the Vesta blockade? So were half the Joint Chiefs. He was on the Yashijiro. No kidding. The Yashi and four other destroyers were facing off against one Martian cruiser. Somebody twitched. Everybody started shooting. Ceasefire was issued within minutes. But by then, that one duster had crippled all five of our ships. Wynn saw 29 fellow sailors get blown out into space. You don't think he thinks about that every time he sees a Martian flag? Hmm? He knows the enemy. I'm glad he's in charge at a time like this.